patience, you know? I mean, it's the name of the game. You've got to, uh, you've got to take the rough with the smooth, as my dad used to say. You know, there's, there's no half measures, really, in this, in this game. You, you've got to be in it for the long haul. Yep, yep, that's a good signal. That's it. Contact. First find of the day. See what we've got. It's amazing actually what you what you can find. Um, I haven't found anything particularly uh, special in this area uh, as yet, but um, you know I've found things before like uh, uh, I found a, a, an artificial hip. Uh, uh, I believe it was manufactured in the 70s, not long ago, and um, and uh, like false teeth, that sort of thing. You know, just got to be careful when you dig. You don't want to, you don't want to break it, whatever it is. So sort of dig around it. I found a um, an unexploded bomb once on a beach, a 200 pound a German bomb. Um, police came, had to shut the whole beach off for a day. It was brilliant. Nothing real. Right, so that's um. All oh, right. So that's just a, um, just a bit of junk. You know. This time, but next time, I mean, who knows? It's all right, isn't it? Obviously, we've got the wind turbines there. I imagine one day a bit of one of them will break off and. Uh, I'll probably find it on the beach. If I'm lucky. Could be worth something actually, I suppose. And the blades are made of a um, carbon composite. Might not pick that up actually on the metal detector. So it's a solitary uh, pursuit, this? Yeah. Um, I mean, I quite enjoy the fact that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a one-man, you know, endeavour. You know, some of the some, some of these other guys think it's sort of a team sport. You know, guy in little little gangs, but I've always been a bit more of a lone wolf. So you don't consider yourself as part of the uh, wider beach detectorist community? I wouldn't say so, no. No, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I mean, you know, I got here first, these guys have just turned up. Amateurs, really. I mean, all credit to them. I don't want to, you know, I don't mean them any disrespect. And I mean, that's the that's good thing about detectoring, you know, you, the next thing you find, it could be just a piece of junk like we had earlier, or, or it could be uh, the thing you've been, you know, searching for your whole life, really, you know, the find of the century. Um, or or it, could, it could be another bomb. You never know. I was uh, digging uh, footings in the back garden with my dad for, for a greenhouse uh, with my dad and, uh, and we found a, uh, a coin, a little coin which turned out to be a Roman coin and so we took, we took that to the FLO, the, the finds liaison officer at the local museum and, um, and they were very interested and apparently it was a rare coin, they made it part of the collection and um, uh, there was a picture of me and my dad in the paper actually for a uh, you know, that, that, that week and, uh, you know, everybody knew I was at school. It was, you know, it was quite good. It's quite good being, um, you know, having found something special and, you know, old. And, uh, and I like that.
ever since my my dad died, uh, my mum has been quite sick quite a lot of the time. So I do spend quite a bit of time looking after her when I'm at home. She says I should probably get out more and uh, socialise, but I'm nev I've never been much of a people person, to be honest. I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy here, really, on the beach with the seagulls. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a very strong reading on the, um, on the detector. It's quite big. Well, come and have a look. Come and have a look at this. What is it, Tom? Tom, what is it, mate? 